it's Mad Moon Mama. Um, it's day seven of No Spend January, and I didn't post an update for yesterday because I took the day off. I didn't have anything really to say and um, didn't spend any money and just took the day to read and um, was getting really low on food in my refrigerator. <laughs> it looked pretty sparse in there and um, so I felt a little bit of panic like all right I'm gonna have to go to the grocery store and find things to you know replenish this fridge and then I challenged myself to go into the pantry and to see what I had in there and what could I make and um, you know get into the freezer so I found all kinds of food of course um, I ended up making uh, gluten-free bread with some yeast I had in my fridge that expired about a month ago so it was really good that I used it um, still worked and I used some of the gluten-free flours that I've accumulated um, this recipe I found was um, it used like millet flour and buckwheat flour and tapioca flour and arrowroot flour and oat flour and I thought shoot I have all of those things and I have no idea what to do with them um, and I also liked this uh, it was a gluten-free bread recipe but it didn't have any you know expensive mixes you needed for it and it didn't use any xanthan gum so it was a really um, just all food in it no weird stuff that a lot of the gluten-free um, breads you buy in the store are gonna have all kinds of weird stabilizers and stuff to emulsify things and they're just not good for you so this is all real food in it and um, it actually tastes pretty good. So uh, I also made some tuna salad with some canned tuna I had and put my dehydrated red peppers in it. And I had these little packets of like um, sesame seeds and sliced almonds. It was like a salad topper that I got um, that I needed to use up. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna throw that in there. And it made really good tuna salad and uh, found some jarred tikka masala sauce and I had one frozen chicken breast and um, used my home canned tomatoes and made chicken tikka masala and cooked some quinoa. And so now my fridge is totally full <laughs> of all kinds of food. And um, I already had it in my house. Didn't have to go to the store. Um, and so all of this is teaching me, all right, what do I really need to buy when I go to the grocery store that I'm gonna use um, to have more of a, a working pantry and stuff that isn't just, you know, gonna go bad in there. Cause I, I don't know, I, I really have a hard time, I guess, with buying random ingredients and not using them. Um, I found some peanut butter powder, which I don't know why I would really want peanut butter as a powder. I would rather just eat peanut butter, but I guess um, somebody recommended it to me or said it tasted good. So I'm sure I was influenced somehow, somewhere, um, and bought it at Aldi, but when I got it home and I went to use that, I realized that it was had sugar in it and I thought it was just peanut butter so I kind of was turned off by that still try to use it and it tasted disgusting <laughs> so um, I've kind of like I took yesterday and this morning and I have a notebook here that I wrote down all right these are things from you know I go to a couple different grocery stores. These are the staples that I should buy at these stores and stick within these parameters because buying these, you know, new items or trendy items or um, kind of strange ingredients um, 
I'm gonna end up wasting them and it's money that I'm throwing down the drain. So, um, but you know, now I'm going through and I'm using them all. So it's really <laughs> not that terrible of a thing that I did by buying these random things that I'm still holding on to because here in this month I'm using them as my food to get me through. Um, I have probably one day left of coffee beans uh, for the month. <laughs> so, uh, but I did buy instant coffee to take camping with me at one point and never ended up using it because uh, somebody else brought coffee beans and we made cowboy coffee and it was fine. So uh, now I'm sitting on this can of instant coffee. So I'm going to force myself to drink that and use that up. Um, but yeah, it's a good, it's a good experience going through or I, cause I, I've never done a no spend challenge before. Um, and I've, I don't know if I've ever gone seven days without actually spending money, which is really kind of disturbing to think about because, I mean, you're going to go to the gas station one day and the next day the grocery store and then the next day you might, you know, stop and get a drink somewhere, you know, coffee or sparkling water or something like that. So it is kind of a crazy thing to think about. I haven't spent any money for seven straight days um, and how much money am I spending that I don't need to be spending and that I could be saving and um, yeah so it's fun I like this I think it's a really good reset for my uh, just how I operate as a person and what I um, invest in and spend my money on and um, just making smarter choices and having a little bit more organized shopping list when I go to the store and um, you know using what I have first before I go and get the new thing or um, hoard food <laughs> um, yeah so I'm really enjoying this mind reset of the, the no spend challenge and I am looking forward to um, even more enlightenment okay thanks for sharing in the journey with me <laughs> bye